Guys, check out G2A for cheap and reliable games. Link and cashback code in the description. I love myself the classic 1969 Camaro. It is my favorite muscle car of all time. Probably of all time. I think it is. I think it is. So what I thought I'd do, I want to build one because there's actually, this is actually the upgrade hero section. So there's actually upgrades for this car. But I thought I'm going to buy one, it costs 110,000. I'm going to go check the auction house and see if I can actually buy one. And maybe I'll actually end up buying one of you guys' cars at some point in if I start buying in people's cars. So uh, let's go into here and let's see, what are we going for? Search. So for those that don't know, wait, which one do I go? Wait, there's a, there's a Horizon Edition? Holy shite. All right, we need, to, we need to try and get this Horizon. I'm going to say how much this Horizon Edition is. I want this Horizon Edition. It's my favorite muscle car of all time, and it has a Horizon Edition. It costs six million. Five million is the cheap. 5.5 million. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. So, wait. All oh, these are. Oh my god, look at how much these are going for. This is beyond crazy. Some people are literally going to be sitting on here to buy these, aren't they? I, I, that's my objective, fellas. We're going to try and get one of those. I will probably sell some of my Horizon Editions soon. But anyway, going back to this. Oh, I've got to type it all in again. For now, I'm actually just going to go with one of these. Now, the buyout is actually more. Okay. Well, I'm guessing these are upgraded. Yeah, they're all upgraded. So there's no actual stock ones on here. See, I should be the fellow that goes and sells. You know what? We're going to have to buy one from freaking thingy, aren't we? Do you know what? Waste of time that was. So the designs, we've got this one, which is the most popular. If you don't know what that's from, it's from the Fast and Furious. And that's the design I'm going to go with. Unfortunately, the color looks a bit odd, but it doesn't matter. Now, you know what? I'm really tempted to sell one of my Horizon Edition cars. The Horizon Edition car that I've got that I really disliked was, well, as you know, the Ford GT. So if we sell that, we might be able to swap it and get something more exciting. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll put it up for auction, honestly. Start auction. And then I'm going to put on the Horizon Edition. So I've got two Horizon Edition cars, if you didn't know. We've got the Ford Focus RS Edition. That one I want to keep because that is freaking awesome. I really like that. But the Ford GT, I didn't like. But honestly, I really should try and collect them all at the same time. So I don't know. Should I sell it? I mean, I could always buy another one, couldn't I? So we can, we can do this. Let's go to auction this car. And let's see how much we can actually get for it. It says 5 million is the minimum. I'm going to put the buy out. Oh my god, you can put the high buyout massively. I'm going to put the buyout at... We should probably check them for... I'm going to go back and check. If we find the Ford GT, where is it? Is that the... No, that's the F-150. There's an F-150 Horizon Edition. Oh my god. I love it. I love the Horizon Editions. You see, that I'd pick some of these with my bloody self. I need to find the 2017 Focus RS. Focus RS. Focus ST. I need it. There we go. 2017 Horizon Edition. Let's go into here and see how much these are going for just to compare. The buyout of this one is someone's actually put it to 11 million. Mate, I'm afraid you're not actually, you're not going to get that. Honestly, there's so many of them that I'm not even going to get anywhere close to the 5 million, am I? So, I don't think I should really sell it because I'm not going to get much money for that at all. So, we'll back away from that idea for now, shall we? Anyway, so we have quite a lot to do. We've got a lot in this area, which is level 3. I think all of our areas are level 3 now. So that's cool, except we got one yet to unlock, which is like somewhere in the middle somewhere, which you may have seen in all the people's videos. But anyway, uh, we need to do some events. Now that gives you, that, you see, I would kind of like to do events here, but at the same time, city streets plus Camaro equals death. And I haven't upgraded it. I really should have done that. I'm an, I'm an idiot. Uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is maybe we do races in the desert -y area. But at the same time, those will probably be off-road races. You know what? We're going to balls to the walls here and we're going to do it here. But first, I need to go back in and upgrade it again. The reason I fucking bought it is because you can fucking upgrade it. So we've got a body kit option. And the body kit option does... Whoa. Look at that. Is that got wider? No, I think it's literally just got lower. It's the, the fact that this thing's got lower. And the, the wheels are thicker. Yeah, the wheels are a lot thicker. And obviously, we got the massive blower on there. It was put a roll cage in there. On the back, it's put like a drag wing on there. No, it's exactly the stock one. I'm an idiot. It's literally the stock wing. I swear, just the stance of this thing changes it so much. But yeah, we're going to go and throw on that body kit, which actually puts in a thousand horsepower, a seven liter supercharged V8. Oh my god! 
I'm not gonna say no to that. So we go into here. I want to see what the not the conversion. I want to go over to the aero and performance just to see what we can change. So we can put that on or remove that. I ain't gonna do that. I like it as it is. We can put oh yeah, we can put that on. I forgot about that. We could put that on, but honestly, I like the stock one as it is. If I paint that black, it'll look cooler. We can put on or remove part of the bumper. And as for the hood, we can take off the blower if we want to be a massive knob. Or we could actually go with that, honestly. That looks pretty cool, but I'm going to keep the blower. There's not many games you can use a blower on a Camaro. And I tell you, my friends, a, a blower. Some people, the British people are like, a blower? You have a phone on your Camaro? Oh! Oh, I love it! <laughs> what do we do performance-wise? I'm guessing this is mostly upgraded anyway, because, well... It's, it's ridiculously powerful. I should probably... F like, there should be a way to, like, check if it's actually got the fully upgraded thing on it before you go into it. You know, it should, like, say stage at the top of it or something. That would be useful for us. But I'm just going to assume that it's fully upgraded there. Does it have the brakes? They're smart. They added the brakes in. I think that pack just literally fully upgrades it. Has it got weight reduction? It has. I think it's got everything. As for the tire compound, we have ourselves the race tires already put on, which is very useful. We've got the big, thick-ass tires at the back. Big, thick-ass tires at the front, because Camaro, muscle car. So I think that's literally everything. The only thing we could do is really throw in a turbo if we wanted to. Uh, this, on the other hand, I don't know, actually. I'm, honest, I'm honestly not sure. But I'm going to keep the one as it is. They force and must know best. And I want that supercharger wine. I want you to wine for me, baby. And then we have the all-wheel drive. We're not going to put on. And then we have engine swaps. We can put a V12 in there. Well, that's just fucking wrong. Here we go. Full throttle it. And it's gripping like a monster. This ain't no muscle car. We should really have put the wing on. Maybe for a little bit more downforce. But on. Oh, look at the blower. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. The sound is going. The whine. You hear it whining. Go on, mate. Oh, look. At oh. <laughs> this thing is literally my favorite. My absolute favorite muscle car, like, ever, mate. I adore this thing so much. Now, a lot of people were telling me in the last episode, like one of the last, last episodes actually released yesterday, uh, in the video in where I had the Horizon Edition car that I didn't like, the 4 GT, a lot of people got annoyed at me that I didn't like it. And I was full throttling everywhere, that kind of thing. And I understand why you would be annoyed. And that's a speed camera. I should probably take that a lot better. But yeah, I understand why you'd be annoyed. But at the same time, I just didn't like how it felt. Like, the way it accelerated and everything. I just did not enjoy that car. So, mate, I got, I'm getting rid of that thing. Though, to be fair, right now is probably not the best time. I wonder if the market will, like, fluctuate. Maybe people will stop getting those cars. Or maybe just everybody has the fucking thing. Which is what I said in the video. Maybe. We got one star, and honestly, the best we can get is obviously three stars, which will give us 15,000 more fans. I guess that's quite a lot, but we'll get more from doing events, and uh, I think I'll find an all-wheel drive car to, to do that to him again. Whoa, mate! I know those things are like meant to be the, one of the bloody fastest accelerating things in the game, but you know what? I don't even care. We can actually, I don't think if we, can, we can actually swap a V12 into this in, in the last game, could we? I'm not too sure, but like, not that I would want to in the first place. But, I mean, I might at some point. Imagine a freaking V12 in a muscle car. That just sounds like the stupidest idea I've ever heard of. And I love it. I'm going to have to try it. Oh, yes. Let me race in the freaking Megan when I've got myself a modern... A modern classic muscle current car. Oh, yes. There you go. Now, what, what do we rename? Should we rename it? Go on, then. A nice and simple event named Murica. Or Murica. You have to, like, say it like that. What? Why is that? Why have they all become muscle car now? I did not choose for you to do this. What's this? Three, the, some people like Matty. Matty hasn't changed the name of it. You're lazy not. We're going to go with this one. Look at these muscle demons. Demons of the American streets. Let's get on with it. The difficulty is up. Let's remember that. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm just going to full throttle it. I don't even care. I don't even care. DMX is on. DMX is going to show us the way with our new crazy... Don't you dare push me out, you know. Honestly, this is going to be a bit of a struggle, I think. I think I might actually mess this up. Again, it's not... I didn't really want to drive these cars here, this mu the muscle cars here, because I'm in a city. Driving muscle cars in a city always ends well. Isn't that right, Mustang drivers? But if I'm just careful with the throttle, honestly, I might be able to do quite well. The problem is, again, these guys are freaking dominating me still. <laughs> Again, if I made this all-wheel drive, I, w I wonder if any of them are actually converted to all-wheel drive. Because they are not slipping at all. But that number four is not pulling massively, but 
Number one, I don't know where he's gone. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can always, like, change it and then change it back again once we've actually got a car with traction. But it's not wheel spinning too much, honestly. Again, we do have race tyres, and we also have the fact that the tyres are thicker than... I don't know. <laughs> Thicker than the ladies I like it. <laughs> like, honestly, I think if we had a, a nice stable car, like a supercar or an all-wheel drive car, we'd actually be able to win this race easy still. Because, like, look, we're not that far, like, we're not that far off. The problem is, again, I do push it a little bit too much sometimes, and this, this car just wheel spins. It's not made for the pants. That's for sure. The pants can't handle the America. For God's sake. There's the finish. We finished third place. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I'm going to have to turn down the difficulty like a knob. But, see, that's the problem, like, with the cars are so unbalanced level. I got beaten by a fucking EK! So if you go off-road, it's a little bit easier. If you have a certain setup in the performance, it's a little bit easier. But then if you go muscle cars, like, even if it's the same level, and they're not in muscle cars, and it, it's kind of all over the place. That's one thing they need to work on on Forza. It just needs, like, the balancing a little bit more. But finish third, we've got 39,000 fans still, actually. That's quite a lot still. You get so many more fans later in the game, it's beyond crazy. You know what? Honestly, if I got 39,000 fans from that, which is what you pretty much get, I think I'd get, like, a couple of thousand more. I may as well just, just keep it on this difficulty and see how I can improve, like, my driving technique with a muscle car. Because, again, normally I'm playing online. I'm playing against Matthew, which is which is quite easy. And, then, <laughs> and obviously, if I do, you know, race properly, like, I don't use a muscle car at all. That's just a stupid idea. And if you were doing drag races, all right, then. Oh, that is cool. I'm liking that. I'm liking some of these posters because, obviously, I haven't seen a lot of them. But we're going to go with this. We're going to go with the, the Camaro. Obviously, let's get on. Horizon Edition. I see you there. I see you. There's two Horizon Editions, I think, actually. I'm saying that. They've just got Horizon wheels. They could... No, they have to be Horizon Edition to have those wheels, I think. So, let's tune it a little bit. That might actually help us out a little bit. So, if I go over to the diff, I'm actually going to lower the diff, which sounds like a, a stupid idea. But in reality, it might <laughs> it might help. Uh, oh, wait. We need to put the, the thing to cornering. I don't have it on corner. That's, that's probably going to help. The, down, the downfalls of the back, we can't change. We should have put the, the wing on, honestly. Uh, but other than that... There is, yeah, we, like we've got no sway really at on uh, at all on it, so there isn't much point changing it. And the gears put it more towards speed, I guess. I don't know. I don't want to change it too much because again, it, it drives well. It's just I can't drive well. I think I'll eventually find one day in where I tune like the perfect muscle car. But look at those freaking guys launch! This, that's ridiculous. How do they launch like that? I don't even know. And now I just see them flopping around still. So you know they're still like floppy muscle. Whoa, EK! Oh, here comes the first corner. Look at them all just bopping up and down. I love myself some muscle. I love it. I don't think I've ever used this hood shot this often in a in a, in a Let's Play or racing game in general at all. In an episode in general on Need, oh, Need for Speed. I was going to call it Need for Speed. On Forza. Like, it, I was just wheel spinning through that, the whole, that, that whole section there. That was beautiful. But no, like, normally I, I wouldn't use this, but... I think, honestly, having this, this cool freaking little here, blower here makes me want to use it for the rest of my life. <laughs> full and now we can throttle. See, we're actually pulling quite well here. We're pulling quite well. This, this event doesn't have as many, like, horrible corners. It's more like down one end, and then you have a little bit of a, a turnaround, then you go back again, pretty much. We're now in fourth place, which is quite good. Do you mind? full and... I wasn't even full throttle. See, they can throttle so much more than me. That's crazy. They're, there's no way they have like they've got the assists off or whatever. <laughs> oh, bit of a bit of contact with the wall there. Sliding through that whole section again, slightly sideways. Take it. Thank you, EK. Use an use an EK for help there. Whoa! You think you do it? <laughs> Your blood is a green. It's a green saber. What is the saber actually? It's a good question. Never thought about that. Saber on San Andreas, if you don't know what I'm talking about. The Saber. You see the green Saber driving away. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Come on. Yes. Pop. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I'm so sorry. I just killed, like, such an expensive muscle car. But I just flew past everybody. If I rewound, I probably would have been better off. But you know what? I'll accept me dirty Tic Tacs for that one. This view actually makes me feel a little bit safer compared to... Uh, to the other view. I don't know. I feel I have a bit more control. If I had a wheel, I'd probably be using this view, honestly. This view, like, for, like, serious racing. So, 
EK is literally shooting ahead in every event recently. My god, is he the, the, the muscle car man? No, he is not. <laughs> what are you doing? Get away. I'm rewinding anyway. I don't want him to pass me. That was, that was cheating. You can't do that. You know, we're going to have a problem. That's a saber. That's a saber. Oh my goodness, no. You can't do that. I can no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So close. I almost lost it there. But we've got third place again. Now, I don't want to restart it. You can bugger off, you cheeky knob. So damn. Oh, my God. I'm getting better, though. That was that second one was a lot better. Again, the track layout was easier as well, to be completely fair. But I'm very happy that we've built this. I really want to get a Horizon Edition version of it. If you can give me some more money now to, you know, give me some money back in the fact that I've spent so much money on this car. 60K. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. I love you. 42K fans. I wonder, I don't know how the fans work, honestly. It's a bit, it's a bit all over the place. But yeah, we're pretty close now to the, to the next thing, which is good. I'm happy about it. Look at it, shake. Shake your booty for me. Yes, yes, that's what I like. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this episode of Forza Horizon 3. Remember to join both the new clubs. I was just in the TVP8 and then there's TVP4, those two clubs. And you can join in on some races and online and clubs and everything. It'd be pretty cool. Anyway, there's a new barn fight. someone in the auto shop talking about an old classic hiding out in a barn nearby. Yeah, well, they're all old classics. How many do I have now? No, I swear there was more. I had more, way more than that. What happens? Did they disappear? No. I don't know. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.